Hello, welcome to another edition of Artist Chat brought to you by Culture Coalition. My name is Edgar Fernandez, aka Ochoa Hao. And today we're gonna go over, talk about a little bit of my process, how, how I begin uh, a painting of this scale. This painting is five foot by four foot and it's on canvas. And basically the way I started this piece was using a uh, charcoal pencil. I drew out the whole design and then once I was satisfied with the design, I went in there with uh, acrylic and added basically a lot of water. That's why you see a lot of drips coming down. And the reason I added a lot of water as well was to add some of these shadows and fades where I think that these uh, shadows and fades need to be. And that it's kind of like a, a blueprint for me. And then I go from on top of that. And right now I got some basic uh, acrylic paint. This is a red paint, Soho. You can find this at Jerry's Artorama. And I'm gonna add a little bit of this acrylic paint. And I'm gonna use a lot of water so I can create a wash. And the reason for the, the wash is to create a very transparent color where I can still see my design underneath. This is my palette, just the plate. I'm just gonna mix this paint. And the paint's still a little thick, so I'm gonna grab some water from my tray. Then, to test it out, I'm gonna just go on the side. So it's actually pretty thick. It would probably erase most of the design. So I'm just gonna brush this on in the background first. And I'm just using a two inch brush. So you can get that washy effect more here. Another way to do it is I could actually grab the spray bottle and spray the actual canvas. And then grab a little bit of the red paint. See, that's actually working better for this case. The reason I'm adding a, a red wash is because the majority of this painting is gonna be red. So that gets the painting to be blocked immediately by the color I'm gonna use. And then I start adding different layers, different tones and shadows on top of that. So I'm just gonna wash a little bit more. Let's do some on the face. behind this painting came to me when I was sun gazing one day and then I thought about what if I do an abstract figure with the big head little body and then um, some nopales in the background and he's making direct contact with the sun and also the sun's making contact with him Okay, so we're gonna go into the next color just to show you guys real quick. I'm gonna add a little bit of Payne's Gray. And then I'm gonna switch up the brush. I'm gonna go to a smaller brush. A little bit of earth tones.
So that's basically um, the beginning process. I will continue and adding more of the wash color over the whole piece. And then on the dark tones, I'll go in here with this uh, almost like dark maroon color and then start adding the shadows. And then from there, I'll start adding highlights. And that's basically the beginning process of how I begin a big painting like at this scale. And if you guys want to check out more of my work, um, make, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Ocho How. That's A-A-H-A-U. Thank you. Peace.